Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! Today, we have a choice between permanently losing a heart container, or paying 50 rupees. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay 50 rupees and uh, get through the room, yeah, it's a pretty obvious choice there, but there you go. So now we just push that black and go through another secret passage! I can't get my voice that high today. Oh well. Maybe some of you prefer that. Oh well. But anyway. Okay, you get to live, Keese. Whoa! No, 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 Okay, phew! Yes! Showed you guys! I was getting a little worried there that I wasn't gonna make it out of there alive. Uh-oh. We're gonna go into pissy boss mode if I don't kill him quickly. Crap. Crap. Come on. Get back here. Okay. Phew. Oh, man. Only three hearts. Glad I made it through here alive, but before grabbing the Triforce, I want to go through another secret passage. Ah, there we go. Just had to get my... Uh... Voice going, I guess. Well... Careful. Careful. There we go. Okay, it's one down. Nuts. I can't afford to take these hits. Damn it. Okay. Now let's see. Oh man, three of them again? Good thing I got the bombs for it this time. Okay, one down. Come on. Okay. Damn it. Missed. I need those bomb arrows. That was another game, unfortunately. Okay, wait for it. Ha! There we go. Whoa. Okay, I think I can do this. Just one more room to get through. This room... Okay, let's see. Kill him first, since he's kind of in the way. Well... Okay, don't worry about the poles voices. They're not much of a threat. Just gotta, uh... Get them out of the way. If they come to you, great. If not, don't worry about it too much. Well... If the Dark Nuts start coming down here, then... Okay, then you go after them. But otherwise... There we go! Okay. Let's see, come on. Just gotta... Get rid of these guys. Okay. Just a few more hits. Uh-oh. Come on. Okay, one more. Or, well, one more dark knot, that is. Ha! There we go! Yes! All right! Woohoo! So anyway, you do that, push that block, you do not want to go into the left room. I think that was the room where I got the map in the first place, but... Phew! Good thing, too. I almost... Oh! I don't have a potion. I was going to say, I almost had to use my potion, but uh, I don't have one. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> that would have been bad. But, alright, we made it, and we got the raft. Yeah, they hide it from you like that. You'd never think to push behind the altar of the Triforce, or whatever you call that thing. But you can't. So now we just go back and we make it out. Do not push left into that wall, or it'll take you back to that room where we got more bombs. But, fortunately, we uh, don't have to worry about that. Because I know where I'm going. Some people were saying, H.C. Bailey, the secret is in the arrow, or whatever that old guy said last time, uh, was referring to the Triforce pointing up behind the altar. Well, I think it was referring to something else. I could be totally wrong. And I'll show you, like, now. Now that we've got 12 hearts, we can go get the magical sword, so let's go do that. If you don't have the ladder yet, then you'll need to uh, go through the Lost Woods and all that stuff to get up to uh, this part of Death Mountain. Fortunately, I already have the ladder, so I can just go right over the river like that and avoid most of the lineups there. 
Whoop. Hey. Take it easy, man. Chill out. Let's see. Just a whole bunch of falling boulders here. Doing good. There we go. See? Secret is in the arrow. At least that's what I think they're talking about. And here we get the Master Sword. Or Magical Sword. Sorry. Wrong game. We got that. Let's see. We want to warp now. I want to get to level 3? Or was it level 2? Whatever they called it. Let's uh, just keep on warping for a little while until I get to where I want to go. Because well, there's one more heart container we can get now. Yeah, unfortunately, the whistle doesn't... There we go. They don't take you to the dungeon locations of the second quest. They still only take you to the dungeon locations of the first quest. So, just something to keep in mind. Although, I haven't been to level 7, so I don't know why they warped me to uh, level 7 there. The, the first part. Maybe because that's, like, the closest dungeon location to level 2 or something? I don't know. Got me on that one, viewers. Let's just get those bombs. There we go. Maybe get a few more rupees. If I can get the arrows before I go to the next dungeon, that would be great. If not, you don't need them. It would just be nice, so. But I need 80 rupees to do that. So, otherwise I'll just collect the rupees naturally the rest of the way. But anyway, with the raft, we can go up here and get... The final heart container. And just so you know, there is only a limited supply of heart containers. So if you're... As far as, like, losing a heart container from the guy who asks for your money or your life, that's just something to keep in mind there. So yeah, you pretty much always want to give the old man your money, because you can always get more money. You only have one life. Don't waste it playing video games all day and talking on the internet and things like that. Alright, well, I have the money. We might as well go get the uh, wooden arrows as long as we're at it. I wasn't exactly planning on it yet, but uh, well, we might as well. Well, I got damaged by an act rock. I'm not really worried about my life right now. But first things first, I think they sell them here. Yes, okay. We want to get the wooden arrows. Because, well, we gotta get the bow sooner or later. Unfortunately, uh, two of the... Well, I pretty much have to go for the bow now, because of the three dungeons left, the two of them require me to have arrows in order to get through them. Nuts. Might as well take out all those losers first. The four... Healing up for the next dungeon. Heal me faster. There we go. Why don't they just do it, like, instantaneously or something? Why, why bother coding it like that? To just heal you up, like, very slowly like that. Eh, whatever. But anyway, now we want to go to level 4. I, I mean, uh, well, whatever dungeon we uh, go to with the raft here. That was pretty much the reason why I went to level 4 relatively early, so that way we could go to level 5. Because, yeah, level 4 is a relatively tough dungeon, so is this one, too. But I kind of have to go through here before going through other dungeons, so, oh well. Oh yeah, a few people were saying that the A in the magic key refers to uh, all, like you have all keys, or it access to opening all doors, or something like that. So, okay, I'll, I'll buy that. That's... I lost my sword! What do you expect me to do without my sword? I wonder if my uh, wand can work on the uh, wizard's robes. Like, the actual stick part of the wand there. Well... Well, 
I got rid of one. Do I have my sword back? Yes, okay. Oh, by the way, uh... <sighs> Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, can you use the whistle or recorder to uh, get back your sword? And the answer is no. No, I only used that in the first quest because... Come on, get back here. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I only did that in the first quest because it's... Well, five of them? Yeah, I only used the recorder in the first quest because it creates a sort of time delay until you would have normally gotten your sword back from after a regular bubble would hit you. So, not because I actually... Not because the whistle actually gives you your sword back. No. The recorder. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Uh... Whatever, I'll get my sword back on on the way back. There. All right, and in this dungeon we get the bow. They kind of take a while getting it to us, but well, there we go. Now we have that. But will Link actually ever use the bow? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>